G or an M. So mostly G stuff. So it's G, X, blah, 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 Y, blah, 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 E, which stands for the feed rate, blah, 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 and then the next line is X, Y. I'm Dwayne Faust. I'm the physics lab manager here at Platteville. And my job is to help the young students uh, gain more knowledge in hands-on activities like manufacturing, uh, fabrication, uh, learning more about the newer technologies that we have available. I unfortunately lost a few of my 3D printers through the storm and the university was nice enough to uh, replace them and we use those for prototyping the student projects. Uh, the students manufacture uh, different items also on our laser cutter. We were fortunate enough to get a nice laser cutter for uh, cutting acrylic and wood products and the students um, are able to prototype things relatively accurately in those materials. It uh, is very beneficial for our microsystems and nanotechnology class where the scale of the materials that they're dealing with are quite small. Uh, repeatability is important, uh, accuracy is important, and that's why the 3D printers and the laser cutters allow them to create things in much less time and much more accurately.